Hello, my friends, and welcome back to the broadcast. I'm going to warn you, if you believe blindly everything our government tells us, then you should probably turn off this broadcast because I'm going to ruin it for you. I'm going to ruin it for you forever. We were sitting around the other night. I was sitting with my wife and President Trump made a statement. You see it over my shoulder. It states, today I'm also directing the Department of Justice to propose legislation ensuring that those who commit hate crimes now hang in there. This has nothing to do with my broadcast the other day. And mass murders face the death penalty. And that this capital punishment be delivered quickly, decisively, and without years of needless delay. And I looked at her and I said, what he just said could result in something so ferocious that it will make the Patriot Act look like child's play. Hence this broadcast, not more than 24 hours after I say that across the dinner table, comes this story. You may be surprised to hear there is no specific federal law against domestic terrorism. Tonight, the FBI agents are demanding one. Jeff Pegues reports on why tracking down extremists in this country is so difficult. The FBI Agents Association sent a blunt warning today, calling domestic terrorism a threat to the American people and our democracy. It urged Congress to make domestic terrorism a federal crime. Make domestic terrorism a federal crime. Now, that would make perfect sense. We had two absolutely horrible tragedies, right? Think about it for a moment. Slow down. I'm going to give my introduction, and when we come back, I want you to come to some conclusions before I jump into it and tell you what mine are. So I'm going to ask at this point in time, if you haven't yet subscribed to justicesaynight.com, please do, now indicated by the large yellow arrow. Just below that is my donation portal, and I sincerely need your help. Um, for those of you that haven't had an opportunity to donate, if you can take a few minutes and reach out. I have a project that, uh, that we have to do very quickly because I'm concerned that all these platforms are going to drop us. And if we don't do this fast, you'll have no access to real news. And that's why, if at all, by any means, if you can help support, it makes that project get off the ground a lot quicker. And then my alternate platform of the week is Mayway. If you haven't subscribed to me down below in my YouTube link, you'll find the link to my Mayway page and also my parlor page where you still get real news, unfiltered and uncensored. So now back to our broadcast. This published on Mother Jones, Trump wants to execute mass shooters, but Congress would have to change the law first. See, that's the key. To do what he's requesting and to do what the FBI is requesting, law would have to change. So let me take a scenario for you. We're going to jump forward here. FBI agents warn domestic terrorism poses threat to the American people. If the president and the FBI were to get what they wish, domestic terrorism has now taken on many classes. You hear the talks of white supremacy. You hear the talks of right-wing extremism. You hear the talks of, of so much rhetoric, especially if you listen to mainstream media, what's classed as domestic terrorism and how much can this change in law expand back to the mother jones article for a mass shooter to end up on federal or state death row depends on various factors and just because texas is pursuing the death penalty doesn't mean the federal government won't do the same with or without congressional action federal prosecutors could decide that the shooting violates federal hate crime laws and also push for capital punishment you see there's already laws in the books that makes things a federal offense. What Trump and the FBI are proposing is a major step up. So let's decide they don't like you very much and something was to happen to you. Well, if it's a federal crime, only the feds can investigate it. Your local sheriff and law enforcement will no longer be allowed on the crime scene. It becomes the dominion of the federal government. Power corrupts. Absolute power corrupts. Absolutely. And this is my fear because they're staging something that I don't believe anybody in America is aware of. All the warning signs are here. All you have to do is go through a simple search 
And the quotes that they're saying, President Trump explores executive action for hate crimes following mass shootings, moving forward a step further into, we even heard, listen in here. Last month, FBI Director Chris Wray told Congress domestic terrorism was on the rise. Just in the first three quarters of this year, uh, we've had more domestic terrorism arrests than the prior year. One former federal official told CBS News law enforcement agencies need a rebalancing similar to what occurred after 9-11. A rebalancing. You see what I said? All the dots are here. It's why you come to this broadcast. It's why I need you to recommend these videos. If anybody doesn't have their eyes open yet, they're telling you what they're going to do. We need a rebalancing comparable to that that happened after 9-11 last month. The FBI director saying, yes, domestic terrorism is on the rise. Now, that's not the most shocking statement. Oh, no. 9-11 resulting in the Patriot Act, which intruded on all our freedoms, all our privacy, all our liberties. What came out of it, nobody really knows. You don't know when it gets to the federal level. But... This is the part that's going to send chills up your spine. Listen in here. 9-11, when the counter-terror focus became Al-Qaeda and ISIS. Right-wing extremists like ISIS are congregating on the Internet. Authorities believe the... Right-wing extremists. You've heard that everywhere. Nobody's exactly sure who classes into that right now. Right-wing extremists like ISIS. They're silenced for a reason. They're taking two horrible tragedies now. They're taking the horrible tragedies in El Paso. They're taking the horrible tragedies it, that happened outside Ned Peppers and the loss of life, useless loss of life. And they're tying it directly to 9-11. So are we staring in the face of something again that will make the Patriot Act look like child's play? We're going to go one step further now. Of course, yesterday, the president did denounce white supremacy. Nora, if domestic terrorism is made a federal crime, it could lead to more resources to prevent the next attack. However, some worry it could also open the door to increased government surveillance. Remember what I said? They always come out and say it. It's, again, why you're here, because I just connect the dots for you. They're telling you what they're going to do. So were they concerned about punishing somebody after they commit a heinous act, which is already laws in place to do that? Are they trying to simply block any state investigation of anything that may happen someday, maybe to you, depending on if they classify it as domestic terrorism in this open, broad brush statement that they make? Or is it simply to open up, as he just stated, more opportunity for investigation and intrusion into your rights. You see how they're surrounding this around 8chan and the internet and it's building extremism. Even President Trump said that because now suddenly that's a breeding ground for hate. When 99.9% .9 of the people use it to send tweets to one another and Facebook messages, but now it's being made into this vile creature because you see, this is a complete Devil's attack in so many ways. Trump asked tech companies to detect mass shooters before they strike, calling in social media, which I absolutely blew a gasket on not more than a few days ago, knowing in the back of my mind where this was all leading to. In one voice, our nation must condemn racism, bigotry, and white supremacy. Absolutely. Absolutely, we must. Nobody's denying that. But how you're going about it is intruding on all our liberties because now you're going to open up those surveillance powers to, in my video, the TAPS Act again. So prophetic because that's what this is going to authorize. That's what they're asking for. They're asking and they're trying to polarize these two events into being a new version or opening up a new version of surveillance against us. Just like Kairos, which exists, the all-knowing DARPA creation to look into the internet of things and reach out. Sentient that I did on Lisa Haven's channel, same mechanisms because they're gonna say they're gonna work to prevent any extremism. But what happens when a government decides extremism is simply disagreeing with them? Well, this is what happens. 
Russia upholds bar on Kremlin critics despite protests. That's right, you simply disagree with them, put any chatter out there on the internet, and suddenly you're labeled a domestic terrorist. And they shut you down, and they arrest you. And what the president and the FBI are calling for is the ability to do that unfettered, unchecked. No more local intrusion into investigating what happened. So we have to look at each other very seriously now. And I've come a long way over the last 12 months of really having my eyes open to this globalist demonic agenda that is attacking each and every one of us. And why I say that we, we, not only from America, from all countries, those who believe in freedoms, those who believe in religion, those who believe in love, those who believe in unity, unite together. Make sure our comments are heard at the bottom of these videos or where I post, because if we don't hold each other very, very tightly, there's forces that none of us will be able to stop independently. And we all need to open our eyes that there's really not many good guys left anymore. It's unfortunate because now what's coming is literally going to make the Patriot Act look like absolute child's play because now we get into precognitive laws, precognitive judgments, and you, my friend, are guilty until proven innocent, and that will give them all the power they will ever need. So until next time, if you haven't subscribed, I certainly hope you will. So much more information to come. My name is Justice Knight. Godspeed and God bless. Make sure you give this a thumbs up. Make sure you share. Make sure you comment. If you haven't subscribed, please do. If you have, make sure the bell is checked because they want to make sure that none of you ever hear from little old me. Time for change, my friends. Time for change. God bless you all.